Nicholas, my darling. I'm busy. Oh, don't be cross. No, I have anything to say to you. Well, I hope you're not still upset about my little escapade in Greece. Well, that was between Luke and me and that screeching windbag to whom he pretends to be married. You nearly killed the screeching windbag. Oh, she's fine. Stay away from Elizabeth and don't even think about returning to Windermere. Should I consider myself banished forever? Yes. My child is due in less than a month. Elizabeth and I don't have the time or the inclination to deal with you. Well, Elizabeth and I? That sounds very cozy. You're not, you're not welcome in my home. If you interfere with Elizabeth or even give her one second of grief, that's it. You don't see the baby. The boys are waiting for us in daycare. Okay. Well, taking the little mother to be and her ragamuffins out to dinner, I see. Not that it's any of your business, but Nicholas has kindly offered to drive us home. Maybe we'll get dinner, and maybe we won't. You ready? Yeah. You are going to get through this, Christina, I promise you. There are going to be times that are really difficult, but you can do it, and I'm going to be with you every step of the way. I'm sorry, Mom. I haven't been fair to you. Look, if I had realized what was going on with you and Kiefer in the first place, we wouldn't be where we are now. But I can't go back and I can't fix that or change that, so we're just going to move forward, all right? When I pretended to date Johnny, it was just to get back at my dad. I, I wasn't even thinking about how it might hurt you. I think that when you were with Johnny, you were trying to exert your control. You were also trying to drive your father nuts at the same time, which is an irresistible combination for any 17-year-old girl. And while I don't find that acceptable by any stretch, I do understand the appeal. I love you. I don't say it enough, but I do. I know. And I like getting back into a routine, even with all the restrictions. It makes my life easier. And I can focus better. Good. Go focus on setting the table, and I'm going to call your teacher and get your study partner changed. Oh, thanks, but I've got that. Hey, Taylor. It's Christina. Taylor, stop. I'm officially setting a moratorium against saying we're sorry. Okay? And if you're not too afraid of me, uh, I'd like to set another study session. Really? Great. Yeah, I'd like to try again too. It was my first week in ER. And I loved everything about it. You know, all that academic stuff started to click. I was completely at ease and was seriously considering a specialty in trauma care. I thought I'd found my true calling. And then one night, they crashed in a GSW. I didn't even recognize him. He was so messed up. It was, it was your boyfriend, wasn't it? I froze. The attending had to take over. Not that it mattered. He had lost so much blood at the scene. He didn't even open his eyes. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I'll always wonder if he knew I was there. You know, maybe he wanted to say goodbye, but he couldn't. He had so much potential, you know? He had big dreams and threw it all away. So how about this? You drop the shallow routine just for a few minutes. Okay. And just tell me what's on your mind, you know? It, what do you want? And then you can go right back to pretending to be in your head. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I want to patch things up with Spinelli and work it out so we could see it together. Even if I have to lie every day and for the rest of my life. But that doesn't seem fair. Oh, and why would that be? Because I would just be setting up Spinelli to get hurt again. And yes, there is one point in my life where 
I would have done that, but Spinelli's changed me. He's made me a better person, a more honest person. That's why I don't want to hurt him again. So what is that? You love each other, and do you not feel like you deserve him, or...? Okay, I'm, I'm starting to sound like a shrink hero. My apologies. No, it's okay. <laughs> I... I feel like I need more than what Spinelli can give me. More danger, more of a challenge, more trouble. And Spinelli knows that. I mean, he loves me so much, he's willing to let me go. That is what makes me feel the worst. It's a good thing I'm so cocky and thick-skinned. Well, otherwise, a girl like you, she could really get to me. 